everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play World. I am Mr. Envelope, and today uh, I just wanted to see how things would look in Germ's Texture Pack. And I gotta say, it's a lot more colorful here. Colorful in that there's different varieties of brown. <laughs> Not so much color-wise, I mean, the brick is completely dulled out and everything. Oh good, this is done. Um, a lot of things are, are really, you know, toned down and everything. The nether brick looks really cool. Um, I just wanted to take a little look and everything. Uh, but welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off real quick. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, <laughs> welcome back. Um, yeah, so today I was thinking of what we could do. And uh, there's always an endless list of things I want to get done in the world. Um, one of which... Oh, I missed. <laughs> One of which is uh, get a couple redstone projects done. Mostly make a few elevators and everything. And then maybe at the end of the episode, uh, more towards the end, uh, we can make a cocoa bean farm. Because it's kind of weird, but I kind of want a cocoa bean farm. Um, just in case we ever need brown dye or if we ever want to make cookies. That's actually something I want to do, but I doubt we'd need like a whole farm for that. <laughs> like maybe a quick setup would get us enough cookies. Get us enough did I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to see just how handy having like a redstone box um, would really be. So the first project we're going to do today is uh, make the actual proper collection system for our herper farm. Um, because for right now, everything was just going in that chest. I'd have to come by and uh, clean it out every once in a while. And uh, it wasn't that annoying, but I think having a proper collection area would be a lot better so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip out some of the ground right here um, I think I think I think I think I'm gonna lower this whole thing is my inventory full yeah cuz I just picked up a chest worth of worth of uh, purple stuff so let's go ahead and just plop this right here uh, that'll be fine I need to go get some ice and stuff too I feel like I should uh, maybe carry some ice in my uh, my redstone chest and everything, but uh, let's just keep going and clearing out some of this land. Uh, we're going to put all these stairs back and everything. Like, the elevator is not going to come up right here. I was thinking it could come over here. We could put a few chests along the wall or something, or maybe even just here. I mean, I can't imagine us using this farm all too much. Uh, during the process of making it, though, I, uh, you know, I would harvest it every couple minutes or so and, you know, uh, rack in the, the purple block numbers and everything. And we have tons uh over at you know the storage area and i've even used a bunch in the nether for the ender pearl farm so we have tons of the stuff uh i can't imagine us actually <laughs> those guys always get stuck in there i can't imagine us ever like really running out but who knows it could probably happen uh so let's see i think i'm gonna change this to like a, a full block drop or two block drop so uh, we'd have to take this out and replace it with ice because i think the lower we go the better um we could have items running along this area right here so you know at this level items would be you know going across all right so we'll probably have things come elevated up around here so what we'll have to do is come up over here not inside of the block <laughs> uh come around over here oh what's this is this oh this is just where the the actual stronghold came about <laughs> oh there's so much around here guys you don't even know um one thing I've noticed too while living here, um, I don't think I would ever do this again. <laughs> uh, live in a uh, fortress or anything like this because those um, the the blocks with the the monster eggs inside, the little silverfish, they are very annoying and not worth the hassle. <laughs> it might not seem like a big deal, but when you do projects like this one where I had to clear out so much of the stronghold. Uh, it got really annoying, and I, I don't want to have to ever do that again. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, enough complaining. Let's go ahead and just lay down the ice. Take out these few pieces at the end, and this is going to be where we have to put a, a little hopper system uh, with a dropper. Dropper should be fine. Let's go ahead and place that upwards. Let's get our hoppers. Have those sticking right into it. So all the items that come about will go over here. They'll go into this uh, dropper right there. Uh, they'll fire. Oh, no, no. Do we want it right here? Where are we? I put lights down, so I, I can't tell where we are. <laughs> uh, is this the right spot? I need this to be behind the wall. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, things will start, you know, just going upwards. We'll put hoppers up there, and they'll start collecting um, any of the chorus plant stuff that we send over. But one thing we have to set up over here is a quick little get up uh, for shooting 
items out. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some of that in there. My inventory is a mess. <laughs> uh, we need two repeaters, a comparator. We need some dust. That is what I forgot in um, on Salt Mine. I forgot to put um, uh, redstone dust inside of my redstone blo uh, box case thingy. That's, that's kind of sad. <laughs> All right, and then we put down our redstone just like that. Every time we put something inside of here, it's gonna auto eject and that's all we want it to do. Perfect. Uh, the next thing we have to do is fill in as much as we can. <laughs> uh, make sure it's consistently um, filled in all the way to the top in this three by three area. I'm pretty sure it can be like a plus sign. So like this block, this block, this block and a block above here. And then on top of here, I need to be filled up. But I like to do a three by three just to make sure it's actually safe and it's going to for sure make it up. Um, and then to pinpoint exactly where it's going to come up at the top, I'm going to put down these little half slabs right there. So I know when I go up there, uh, that's where the item should be coming up. All right. So another thing we got to do is lay down all of the water. Um, I think. Hmm. Oh, my God. That portal is so loud. Uh, I think I want to hmm, change those blocks to dirt or something. I don't think it's going to matter too much. <laughs> uh, let's also put that. Oh, do we want to do that? See, this is going to be kind of tricky because uh, when blocks or when the purple fellows come down right here, uh, if we put a sign down, they're not going to get pushed over. So we might have to do something a little stupid. <laughs> uh, let me pick this up again. I don't want to hear that noise so bad. Uh, let me go ahead and fill this in real quick. We could do something like this. It's going to look a little bad, but if we let that flow down right there and then we get another water source, put it right here. Oh, that's just about going to miss it. But I mean, what are the chances of purper blocks or, you know, the purper plants falling down right here and getting stuck? <laughs> it could happen still. Um... I could go ahead and just lower this down one more. I think, you know, I think we're going to do that. So let me, let me get this all cleaned up and everything and hopefully it'll be done. Okay. All the water should come down still. Ooh, still get that big frame drop from all these breaking. Oh my God. That was pretty bad. Um, but everything's going down into the streams. Oh, that is a big water mess right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I still need to break that chest too, because that has, um, all of the purple stuff from before and I picked most of it up which is fine um, yeah everything looks like it's working I can hear the item dropper thing uh, activating right now uh, it's picking up oh man <laughs> uh, or it's uh, sending up all of the uh, chorus flower things uh, over to the proper spot can you go there you go and then this guy you need a little help too perfect uh, so everything goes down there. I didn't end up cleaning this up. I might do it in the future. I couldn't really notice it when I was up here, so I figured it was fine. Um, oh, let's actually go over here and see if it worked. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, looks like some things are just shooting up over to the chest area. Looks like uh, we might need to do a little bit of redesign. Uh huh. Um... I think it's just because, you know, I have this block right here. Blocks were probably just like, oh, I can come up here and, you know, uh, chill on top of everything right now. But it looks like I'm going to have to do something like that. Um, maybe just have like a single chest of storage. So let's grab a hopper. I already cleaned everything up. <laughs> uh, let's put that there, right there. Awesome. Okay, hopefully uh, with this all closed up, it should work. Why am I missing a... a a half slab. I have more in here. It's fine. <laughs> um, but let's take a look real quick. Yeah, everything's going inside of there now. It looks like uh, no more mess. Everything is being funneled upwards and it works. Awesome. So as you guys know, a few episodes ago, I made this mushroom farm and it works very well. It works very well. It works very well. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been uh, over here and I've been harvesting a few mushrooms and everything. And I noticed that we're close enough for us to activate our zombie spawner that we have up there. And you probably just heard a zombie spawn right now. Uh, if we come over here, we can actually look inside of the farm. Mm -hmm. See, everything's right here. So one thing I want to do is make an on off switch for this thing. Um, it's fairly simple, I hope. Uh, I hope this doesn't take too long. Um, what we need to do is get a redstone lamp. Of course, I have just one. That is perfect. We need a slime block. 
Uh, we have our sticky piston, and we're probably gonna need a lot of redstone. Let's grab a couple repeaters, no torches, and let's just go for a lever right now. I think a lever will be fine, but this should be good. Uh, I have this set up over at the Skelly Farm. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. Now, if I was smart, I would probably try to like slow down some of the spawns <laughs> by putting down a torch. Uh, so let's put down a few of those. Now I'm hoping, I did this differently for the skelly one. I put like um, lamps all on the walls and everything to try to stop spawns. But hopefully I can get away with just putting a single lamp on top of the thing. So what we're going to do is this, uh, this, <laughs> uh, we need a stick of pistons facing downwards. Oh, that's totally in the wrong spot. Oh my god. Wow. That, that was pretty sad. Um, right there, just like... Actually, no, the sticky piston goes right there. And that way, every time we hit a switch, it's going to extend and pull the lamp up. Oh, no, this is this is completely wrong. Uh, actually, it's not like completely wrong. It's just not what I needed. Uh, I need a crafting bench. Nope, nope, nope. I need you guys to go. Oh, man, I'm all over the place right now. I thought I had this one all smooth and it was going to go perfectly, but nope. Um, what am I needing? How do I want to do this? I think I want to... Okay. I want to put that there. Uh, I need a block to stand on. We're going to use that one. I think this is how I have it set up. Ooh! That was real spooky. Uh, this can go... That goes there. Perfect. And then... Yeah, whenever that gets powered, it'll extend and pull up the redstone block, which will stop uh, zombies from spawning. Uh, hopefully <laughs> that's the plan and so what I need to do now is go on top uh, send a wire uh oh metal blocks <laughs> uh, send a wire all the way around actually I should go ahead and break those guys too uh, um, and then make like a, some sort of control area for me to turn this thing on and off all right so in this AFK room that we have I figured it would be a good place to turn on and off the switch Let's see if it works well, it's kind of hard to tell. Couldn't hear the piston go, so there's a chance it didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's go take a look. You can probably see some of the rest going right now. Uh, yeah, let's just head up here. I went I went ahead and I went like full-on sloppy with this, because uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe that's why, because I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's all put that down right there. Awesome. Yeah, I, I figure, you know, uh, we're probably not going to be doing too much stuff over here uh in the future like redstone wise or you know building wise but if i ever do you know I, I can come back and fix it and clean it up you know uh so let's go ahead and see again if this works oh yeah i hear that piston on off on there we go very good and then if you don't know all of our um our zombies come over here oh wait we have a crusher <laughs> let's go ahead and stand back a little bit Oh, diamonds! Right, I forgot I found those. Okay, and then these guys should be very close to dead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally gone. And then right here we also have our villager that um, would like rotten flesh. Very nice. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this. I wonder why I never picked it up. I was probably just trying to show off that. Like, hey, I found diamonds. <laughs> uh, let's use stone. Clean it back up. There we go. I do want to add a few things in here, like... Um, a place to store all of our extra swords and everything that we've been getting from end city so maybe that's that's another future project i want to do and if you guys don't know over here too uh it's the slime farm very nice very cool easy access um another thing i need to do down here is add an item elevator for all of the slime balls that we get from those guys um can i pick this up i can um because right now they kind of just go in a hopper i have to go down there and pick it up every so often i was waiting for 1.11 to come out but the snapshots Snapshots seem to be doing just fine for item elevators and everything, so very nice. Uh, that is two projects that I've wanted to get done today that we got done. So uh, let me go ahead and see how much time we have left uh, to see how far into this next thing I want to do, um, how far we can get into it. So I'll be back. <laughs> Look at how much iron we have. <laughs> Isn't that just crazy? I just went to the iron farm and I uh, picked up... Um, oh man, everything is so loud. I just picked up uh, a, another load of stuff, another load of iron for like the first time in a very long time. I haven't been over there to pick up iron <laughs> since like we first built the thing and that was like 
barely anything because you know just built it <laughs> um so i looked at the clock we do have quite a bit of time left at least for i think we do <laughs> um the other redstone project that i actually want to do today there's actually two one of them is something we've done before i want to build uh, the melon and pumpkin farm again uh, over at the, the farming area and i want to either that or make a cocoa bean farm like i had said um, I was playing around in creative on both of those projects, and I got both of them done in a working design. Um, but the thing is, I think we're going to save the... the What's it called? <laughs> um, the Melon and Pumpkin Farm God <laughs> for another day. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and do the Cocoa Bean Farm. So what I need to do right now, instead of just running around lost <laughs> uh, i need to one find a place to put it now i was gonna put it over in the farming area but i don't think it's gonna fit in too well over there i think we're just gonna keep it over here at home ah uh, so what we need is some jungle wood we're gonna need some cocoa beans oh i have a lot uh and we're also gonna not need bone meal but it's gonna help <laughs> oh and uh one thing we need to do is we need to craft some observer blocks now, i'm pretty sure they take uh six pieces of cobblestone one piece of quartz and one piece of redstone you know what i think they actually take seven pieces of cobble ha ah, tricked you it actually took two stacks of redstone or you know two pieces of redstone um but we're gonna use some of these in our um, cocoa bean farm i am having a very hard time using these things <laughs> uh they're kind of really strange and kind of difficult to work with not to mention that i'm pretty sure i'm in the snapshot that kind of broke some of the redstone components of them um so or maybe i'm in the one before <laughs> i'm not quite sure um but anyways we're gonna use some of those i grabbed some bone meal i should probably grab a little bit more i mean let's be real uh we'll just take that instead okay so i think we're gonna keep it over here i was thinking maybe behind the coffee shop that could be a place let's go take a look over there we haven't been there in a, in a while um i think that could either be a good place or we could just put it somewhere down in the base uh if we keep it down in the base i think i want to put it like in a kitchen type area i've been having a lot of fun with like the whole ah oh, stupid rain uh with the whole cooking aspects of minecraft and uh i know in modded and stuff with like pam's harvest crops oh man they broke my doors um Oh, I hear two different types of zombies. Okay, this should make it better. I <laughs> just slept real quick. All right, so let's come over here. Those little uh, buggers broke the door. Very lame. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of zombie villagers in uh, the most recent updates of Minecraft I've found. Like, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. But anyways, yeah, this is our cafe. I really like this build, and I feel like it should maybe have some purpose. Um... I mean, it doesn't need purpose. I love it the way it is, but it would be really cool if we had, like, our farm in here. Um, as you can see, too, I don't think it'd be too odd to just throw in a few more, um... What are they called? <laughs> uh, cocoa bean pods, because, you know, there's already some here, um, in the form of decoration. So, if we were to put something like that here, where would we put it? Um, we could make all of these little farming areas but i don't think that's going to be a good idea what i think we're going to have to do is maybe put like a back room uh almost like a kitchen or something we could put maybe like a couple brewing stands and everything to keep these um drink dispensers filled up and everything too that could we could totally expand on this uh, i i kind of like that idea um my only problem i can see now is i don't think we have like a pretty good spot to add like a kitchen entrance Unless we maybe took out, like, this uh, little table right here. I think uh, maybe we could put it, like, over here. Uh, there is a bit of redstone right there, but I'm pretty sure I could probably move that around if we're just going to put, like, a simple hallway. Um, because what the redstone does is... It's this. <laughs> it just gives you a drink. Very nice. Now I have strength. Um, we can keep that. So, yeah. Let me clear out a little space then, I guess. And then maybe we'll just keep our kitchen and stuff over here, too. I don't know we'll see what i end up doing but i do want to put the uh i want to put the <laughs> uh our little cocoa bean farm over here so yeah let me get this all set up okay so this is gonna be our kitchen <laughs> uh i really don't like this floor um i thought it would look good because i did something like this on the hermit pack server um 
with, you know, checkered patterns of black and white, you know, because it's just traditional floor colors, but uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to probably change it up later. Maybe something a little less um, contrasty because it's kind of hurting my eyeballs. Um, but anyways, this is going to be our kitchen. Now it's going to be kind of like, a, I, don't, I don't know the proper term for uh, kitchen things, but it's going to be more like a line kitchen. Uh, we'll have like a sink or something here, like a fridge, um, counter space, countertops, and then a couple brewing stands so we can maybe get some potion action going. And then this side is just going to be the farm. Um, it's going to be like a long kitchen. I was going to have it like perfectly square. In fact, you could see where um, actually how big I wanted this thing to be, but I figured it would be more interesting to have uh, a line shaped kitchen. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this thing. I think we're just going to probably... Um, I think I need to push these guys one more upwards. I think that's going to be what we want. So let's go ahead and take out uh, these little holes right there. Oh, there's gravel everywhere. I hate it. Put that there like so. Bam, bam. Awesome. You know, it's cool too. I found uh, a little staircase over here <laughs> of like some time I went caving. There's like a whole ravine down there where I lit up and everything. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, one, two, three, like so two three bam bam awesome uh okay so how we're gonna power this thing is probably just a button very simple uh, i was gonna have a pressure plate you know walk up to the middle one um and then you know it powers all the pistons pushes them upward and then all the uh cocoa bean pods would uh, eject off but i don't think we're gonna do that so for now uh i think we're gonna probably or not for now but like we're gonna we're gonna have a column of something right here um, kind of like shaping the kitchen a little bit and then we'll have a back wall over here too um, this will give us room to plant cocoa bean pods on uh, three sides of each log which I think is gonna be fine so probably have a button or something right there to just power all those pistons so let me go ahead and uh, hook this up really quick shouldn't take too long all right just like so we're gonna put down all of our redstone bits and then every time we push this button all of those get pushed up perfect awesome just what we wanted uh, I'm going to go ahead and lower these guys down because um, I'm going to need them down for when we practice, or not practice, test using the uh, next bit that's going to push them back down. So the automatic system that is, and that's going to require observer blocks. Um, uh oh, I hear zombies and they can totally just come in here. <laughs> um, so these are the observer blocks. Oh man, I feel like the baby's going to go and get that villager. Um, but anyways, these are the observer blocks. I've been having a lot of problems every time I go to use these things, but what they are, in case you don't know, uh, they are like bud detectors, so every time there's a block update over at this weird cloaca looking end, um, it's supposed to update whatever, you know, thing you have over here, so usually you put something that's redstone powered, uh, like a piston or a lamp or just some redstone dust, but anyways, you put a block down and it gets activated. That's supposed to be how it works. Um, so how we're going to use this is every time... Uh, the block in this space right here moves, we want it to power those pistons to push everything down. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it up on one side because uh, we should be able to just get around that, um, having to put one in every single piston uh, just by like hooking everything up together. Now let me make sure I put this down in the right spot. I, I usually have the hardest time putting these down properly because you need to have uh, this spot over where you want to have things updated. So let me just make sure I did this right. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So that's what we want. We put that down right here. And uh, now we're just going to get some uh, slabbies. We're going to put them down like so. I just need to clear out a little bit of space right here. Alrighty, so this should be it. Uh, everything's hooked up. We got our, um, <laughs> our observer block hooked up and everything. Uh, those pistons should go back down or send everything back down once it goes up. Um, you probably see a lot of uh, repeaters up there too. And if you come up here, uh, there's actually a lot more. There's one, two. Let's put that at four ticks also. <laughs> you need a really long delay because the um, the observer blocks, they, uh, they go at a really fast pulse. And I really need to slow it down because I don't want these to push back down until this thing is done pushing up so you'll you'll see what I mean hopefully this works awesome oh and then it pushed twice <laughs> I don't know why I did that but oh wait I think I know why because this thing got updated twice 
it updates when it gets pushed up and then it updates when it gets pushed down but you know what it's gonna work <laughs> that's the best part and uh you see how like they all go up at the same time and then they go down like one two three so what i think we're gonna do is maybe have this one go up first second uh actually let's go two ticks and then four ticks right that's how it works that's how redstone works <laughs> let's see if that does anything i think it did something uh oh i broke it <laughs> it's so noisy and like laggy redstone is so broken right now guys okay so this one went up first but then this one goes down first is that right i feel like maybe it should be the other way around Ah, uh, who cares? I think it looks pretty cool. It's gonna work. Uh, let's go ahead and put down a few uh, cocoa bean pods. And uh, I'm gonna also just spend a little bit of time right now cleaning the thing up so we can uh, end the episode. So I'll be back in a sec, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have to finish decorating this thing at another time, but uh, it actually is done. The farm working part, that is. <laughs> God, those guys up there are so loud. Um, I think I'm going to probably raise the ceiling a little bit uh, over this point, but generally it's going to be just like this. Um, I really like using the dark prismarine bricks or whatever they're called. Oh, just dark prismarine. <laughs> I really like those behind there. I think it goes well with the, um, the weird color of the jungle wood. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, test this thing out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Super nice. I think I'm going to... Oh, why did this one go back down? I uh, moved the redstone around for a minute because I was doing stuff back here. Um, but, you know, this actually works. Except for this little part back here. <laughs> what went wrong? Um, I put all that back. I put all that. Did I put not put this back? Oh, I didn't set this one to four ticks. Except that shouldn't really matter. That goes there. Powers that. Do, do, do. Yeah, that should work. I don't know why I didn't go back down. Um, crap. You're gonna okay you know what? you could stay there and despawn i don't care <laughs> um but yeah this is gonna work i hope let's go ahead and test it out again how do i get through right there duh oh i should probably eat some food um yeah let me test this out one more time <laughs> there we go it's working okay guys so that is going to be it for this episode thank you very much for watching be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I am Mr. Envelope, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm hiding in the house. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. Ah, no. Okay, another one. Another one coming. Ah. Ah. Oh, I hit the villager. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Lag, lag, lag. Oh, God.